Hey guys, Chris McFee here today with an interesting tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install ISOs uh, without need, 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 the need to burn them into disk. Okay, for some reason, maybe we have an ISO like this. Let me just show you. Okay, so I have this really random ISO over here. Now, for example, for some reason, you just have an ISO maybe because you burned this from a uh, you burn you took extracted from a DVD or a game disk because you wanted to save your computer. Or you got it from some other means. So yeah, let's just assume you got it legally and got it from a computer, alright? So now you have eyes on a computer, you don't know what to do with it. So let me show you what to do. If you want to burn it to a disk again to save space, or it's too big, like this is 5.12 gig, uh, gigs, way too big to put in the normal disk, disk or DVD disk, and you don't have the money to buy a DVD layered disk, I'm going to show you what to do. Alright, so first what you're going to do is you want to go to your favorite web browser, log in, and go to powerISO.com. So go to PowerISO, go to download, and you click on any of these download sites. Just click on it and download. I'll put this link in the description. So once you have it, install it, click on install it, install it, and you should have PowerISO set up. Now Power Power Oh my words to them stumbling over my words. Power ISO should immediately recognize this dot ISO files. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your ISO file, right click on it. Go to open with hey, sorry, sorry, um, go to your power ISO file, right click on it, click power ISO and click mount drive, mount image to drive E. Now if this doesn't appear, you go to set number of drives. Now um, by default, it should be set at disable. So when you click on it, power ISO, you should see nothing here. Then go to set number of drives and click on one drives. And then click on it to go to power ISO and click mount image to drive E. So click on that. And once you go to your computer, ta-da! So, so you should see CD drive E and then the name of your Thing so mine is Skyrim so it says Skyrim underscore en. All right so what you have to do is just double click on it and the installer uh, and the installer will start up install exe. So that's just a basic tutorial how to install ISO files without your disk. So that's all. Thanks for watching my video and have a nice day.